The leader of the band did not predict or like their biggest hit. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. The song is Eye in the Sky. It was easily Alan Parsons' project biggest hit, but he didn't like it. We talk about the album and a lot more on Rock History Music with Alan Parsons. Eye in the Sky, did you know uh, before it was released, did you get a feeling of anything? Man, that I was just getting into radio when that blew up. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've never been allowed to forget that I, that I wasn't particularly keen on the, on the title song. I, uh, we, we struggled with it uh, when we were recording it, trying to get the right feel. And uh, I, I actually proposed dropping it. <laughs> is that the one that people say sounds like the, the Lady Annabellum song? Is that, is that Eye in the Sky? Yes, people have, have said yeah. that. And, uh, and someone said you don't comment on that. Do you don't comment on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, could probably, get, you could probably guess why I can't comment on it. But. No, but I'm sure someone will tell me after <laughs> this airs why you would... Uh, don't answer me. One last one. I know I've got like a 30 seconds here. Don't answer me. Uh, Eric Wolfson, Ammonia Avenue. That that did well in Canada. That album did well in Canada. And that song did really, really well. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth. You must have known with that song. Did you, did you know? Um, I, it, it really came together when we decided to give, give it the Phil Spector treatment, you know, smother everything in echo. Because uh, it was very different without that. Um, I think um, I think we've put out, out some bonus tracks um, for for the album that uh, that show what it sounds like without all the echo on it. Um, but I, I was a I've, I was a great uh, great Phil Spector fan. All, all, all the stuff he did back in the sixties. Yeah, I ask everyone this question, an incoming generic question. Um, I love the answers to these questions, so you're on the spot. Um, knowing what you know now, what would you whisper in your 18-year-old's uh, ear, uh, the l young Lenny Zakatek? Knowing what you know now, what would you be telling him? Be careful uh, of I'd what? Be, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be telling him, uh, the thing is, I grew up uh, a trusting Anglo-Indian Catholic. And, but I, I don't, I don't have, I haven't changed, you know, much in... I mean, it's hard. How do you, how do you, if, if I'd had a manager, a one manager in my life, and I, I've had a few, I've always been a better manager of myself than they were to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. They always saw, I was signed to eight record companies, and I'm talking, you know, BMG, EMI, Capital, Decca, CBF. I mean, I was with the major labels. Every one of them thought there was something in this voice that they could make money out of. But none of them actually spent the time to, to help my career, none of them, you know what I mean? So, uh, and even now, the stuff I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm instigating myself, you know? So, uh, and I wish somebody could come along and hang up beside me and just say, I know what, what you're worth, what you do. Let's let's spend the next 10 years of your singing life that's remaining, you know, and let's do it well, you know? Um, so yeah, it, but it's hard. I think you you get lucky. Listen, you know, Elvis only got 50% of his earnings, you know? We'll have more from Alan Parsons coming up in the next two, three days. This series will also feature older clips from our first interview with Alan about a year ago and clips from not the most used singer for Alan Parsons. That was Eric Wolfson, Alan Parsons' partner, but Lenny Zakatek, who sang a lot of their popular songs. We talked to him a couple of years ago and we thought we'd fit some of those clips into this series. He's an amazing singer. That's coming up in the next few days. Make sure you support our channel. You can use the two Ps. One is Patreon. You get early access to our videos. Or if you just want to make a donation, there's a PayPal link in the description. Also in the description, links on how you can pick up the new Alan Parsons album or how you can pick up the Alan Parsons Project box set of all their studio LPs. It's all in the links. Make sure you share our videos on social media. We'd appreciate that. It makes a huge difference. And remember, we read all the comments, like our video, and subscribe to our channel. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.